Well, I'm going to open up with a little bit of a question for all of you. Hmm? Did you mic? People can hear me. Yeah. Apparently, I'm not loud enough here. Okay, we get it. Don't worry. <laughs> Put that in your pocket. You have to move the mic up a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Can't hear you, Steve. <laughs> Why, Tristan? I can't hear you. <laughs> Got my mic on. Can't hear you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to open up with a question for all of you. Have you ever felt like you were being disobedient to God? Yeah. I know I have, and I thank the Lord that he went and blessed me with this message. Why don't you guys open up to Ephesians 6.1. Obedience comes from the core word, obey. And obey, it conveys the idea of actively following a command. There's no choice in the matter. It's to be done whether you want to or not. To be obedient, you do have a choice. Either you're going to be obedient and follow what God wants you to know which is in this book right here. Or you're going to be disobedient. And we all know where we're going to go if that happens. How about we go to Deuteronomy 6. Verse 4, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is our God, or is one God. And thou shalt one, or thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Right there. He's given you an order. Amen. And I choose. Nay, I will obey that order. And I know all of you will as well. In 6.6, 6, And these words which I command thee this day shalt be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them delinquently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. And when thou walkest in the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Right there, it says, right in plain English, in God's English. I thank, I, like, I thank Pastor for teaching me that. Right there it says, it's going to be in your heart. It'll be deep inside. It'll weigh you down. Knowing that, you know what, maybe I should follow this. Maybe, even if I don't, I know it'll still weigh on my heart until it actually happens. How about we go to Colossians 3. In 
verse 22. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye servants as man pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. I don't know about you guys, but I fear God. Why? Because He's Almighty. And he can take life away just like that. Yeah. He brought us into this world. He can take us out just as quick. But He has a purpose for us. And the only way that He's going to get the purpose out of us is if we obey His commands. Now I'm going to tell you about some loss of blessings due to disobedience. Because there's always ways that <laughs> He's going to get back at you. Just because you're disobedient doesn't mean that you're safe. How about we go to Numbers 20. If I can get my right tab, that'd be great. In verse 7, that's 27. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the rod, and gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother, and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes, and it shall give forth its water, his water. Right there. That, that's a command all itself. Wow. That, that's good stuff right there. And thou shalt bring forth to them water out of the rock, so thou shalt give the congregation and their beasts drink. And Moses took the rod from before the Lord as he commanded him. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rod. And he said unto them, Hear now, ye rebels, must ye fetch you water out of this rock? And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock twice, and the water came out abundantly, and the congregation drank, and their beasts also. Right there. God told him, Go smite you that rock. Smite it twice. So that all the congregation can drink. Them and their beasts together. So he did it. it says it right there. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, Because ye believe me not to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel. Therefore ye shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. They didn't believe in their heart that this was possible. So they, they don't get God's praises. I, I couldn't think of something worse. But it's not always a loss of blessings. There are rewards for this as well. And that's for being obedient. How about we go to Genesis 22? I know I'm kind of bouncing around for you guys. Amen. Okay. Tristan can learn the Bible. <clears throat> and we go down to verse 17. That in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And thy seed, in thy seed, shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Right there, you you got countless accounts of him saying, 
I'm going to give you some blessings because you're obedient. Now my question for is all of you. Are you going to sit there and listen to what he's trying to tell you? Or are you going to sit there on your butt doing nothing because all oh, it seems too hard? Well, I tell you what. I'm going out in that world. And I'm going to do what the Lord has asked me to do. Amen. Because not only for me, but for this world, I need to show obedience. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.